Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessie and today we are finally going to be reacting to Super Ache, the album by Conan Gray. Now this is huge for me. I have been waiting to listen to Conan Gray for this reaction. I wanted to cave so many times and be like, I'm finally gonna listen to him. And I was like, no, 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 no. You have to wait for the reaction. And it's finally here. So I finally got to just satiate that. Oh my God, thank God. Yeah, I've literally never heard Conan Gray before in my entire life. I know, I know. I'm just like so excited to finally check out his music because I know he's a songwriter. And for me, that's my favorite kind of music to react to. Honestly, that's because I'm a singer songwriter as well. And big news, my brand new song, Test the water is coming out on friday ah, like this friday like may 12th 2023 it's gonna be the song along with a music video roll the trailer there's the early morning salty air and the ocean breeze so i tentatively take the step to dip my feet but then I pull away, they come out to play Hide and seek His electric eyes and his spinning mind Taunting me But yeah, if you like that, then make sure to pre-save it or pre-order it. Um, the link for that is down below in the description. And if you do decide to pre-save or pre-order it, please, 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 please let me know so I can personally thank you. Like, let me know in the comments. And also, if you decide to like check out my other music, like there's the music video for um my new song Gravity that just came out, then also leave a comment below because again, I want to be able to like thank you <laughs> yeah make sure to follow me on instagram so you stay updated on like all my new music and stuff also link down below <laughs> that's the pattern here everything's linked down below don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell give this video like if you end up liking it <laughs> let's finally get into it no like i'm so excited okay so the first song is called movies Ooh. Movies. Oh my god. <laughs> Y'all were not lying when you said I would love Conan Gray. <laughs> this is exactly the kind of music that I love. It is truly a crime that I have not listened to this before now. Like, why was I depriving myself? Like, for no reason. I am only a minute and 28 seconds in. And I can confidently say that Conan Gray is probably going to be one of my new favorite artists. No, like I'm speechless. This is so sweet. If you are the diamond, then I am the ring. Like, stop. I love this one. This one's my favorite. Built us a world and I gave you the key. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Like we're doing all these beautiful, amazing things, but it's all in my head. It's not real. It's only in the movies. It's giving and this was a movie by Taylor Swift. No, I'm loving this. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's continue. We're holding hands, but it's all just for show. Just on the drive here. Oh. That's a funny way of saying Genius, 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 genius. Okay, also just the production is so beautiful. The choral moments where he's harmonizing with himself. Oh my God, it's just so beautiful and big and cinematic. Like my favorite music is music that feels like it could be in a movie or in a movie trailer or like on the movie soundtrack. And this feels like a movie. Which makes sense because it's all about like being in a movie. It's literally, this is called movies. Yeah, it's called movies. Ah, uh, he's a genius because he took a song called movies and made it sound like a song that would be like the soundtrack to a movie. <laughs> Bridge. Oh 
Oh, incredible. You can so tell that Conan went to the songwriting school of Taylor Swift. And I love that because I'm a huge Swifty. So thank you for gifting us with that, Conan. I'm totally giving that a heart because that was just so beautiful. Okay, this next one is called People Watching. Eee! That wasn't funny, but she laughed so hard she almost cried. There have been talks about their futures until 4 a.m. And I'm happy for them. Leave out a test to the poison I'm holding. But for now I'm only people watching. Ooh. Okay, this mm, lyrically is so good. Even just the first lyric that wasn't funny, but she laughed so hard, she almost cried. It's a perfect lyric to start off the song because it's very intriguing and a little mysterious. You're like, wait, what? What do you mean? She is so enamored and in love with this guy that he said something completely unfunny and she laughed because to her it was hilarious because everything he does is hilarious because she sees him with like rose colored glasses. Even this lyric, I wanna like be that attached to the person I'm holding. Mm, it's so good because when you're holding someone, you are attached to them, you are physically attached to them. But he's talking about like emotional attachment over physical attachment. And that's such a genius way of wording that. Oh, I'm literally loving this. <laughs> I really love just the title and how it like works into the song because you're like people watching what could that possibly be about and then it's oh my god it's about like not being able to find that love for yourself and so right now you're kind of just like people watching window shopping kind of trying to observe what other people are doing and satiate yourself via that almost like when you like read a romance novel or like a lot of Bridgerton <laughs> you know <laughs> if you're anything like me you watch a lot of lot of, lot of Bridgerton Okay, the next track, number three, is called Disaster. Um, if I'm honest, that one wasn't my favorite. It was the production I wasn't that big of a fan of. It was like too maximalist, but like, like I like maximalist production because again, I love like movie scores, but I like it when it's like strings, not when it's like, I don't know, very like, like so pop. For me, I prefer pop music that's more minimalist. I really like some of the lyrics though, like this one, because the potential of us, it was keeping me up all night long. Mm, like when there's nothing even there yet, but there's just a potential and like the what if is like forcing you to put all your time and energy into this person. Ooh, at the critical chapter where I say I love you and you don't say it after. Oh, that's just such a good way of wording that very common human fear that we all experience. <laughs> is it purely platonic to call me like every night? When you're trying to figure out like whether someone sees you platonically or like more and you're like well they're calling me every night but they're like but what if what if it's just as a friend oh no and i like how he was like naming people it was very like cheeky and fun and this one but if i'm reading it wrong man it'd be better off if i die he's got some of that taylor swift dramatic nature <laughs> like back when, back in like the early days of taylor swift she would be like i would die die it's so dramatic but like you really do feel like that in the moment so i appreciate that it was like a fun cheeky song just like not my personal favorite okay track four is called best friend i wonder whether it's actually going to be like about a platonic best friend or whether it's gonna be maybe like I'm in love with my best friend. I want us to be more. Because that does seem to be kind of like a theme throughout this album that I'm noticing. It's about like wanting something or like loving someone, but like feeling like you're not ready yet or like you don't know if you're ready to get hurt again. So I'm excited to see what this is about. That was the weirdest hybrid of like an English accent and Australian accent. Like I don't even know what that was. Okay, best friend. <laughs> Remember when you broke up with your fucking ex? I 
That's my fucking best friend. That's my fucking bro. And I'm about to bust up. I made a promise that I'm gonna marry you. If we both still single by like 32. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm not 32. When you're young, you think of 32 is like so old to be getting married. That's so young. That's so funny to me. Oh my gosh. I mean, I'm only 23, but like I'm like 32 is young. <laughs> like you're good. <laughs> Okay, I also just need to say that like grocery shopping at 2am is so fun. Like there's no other time I'd rather grocery shop. Like the Sobeys by your house, oh my god, before COVID it was like a 24 hour Sobeys. Me and my friends would literally go at like 2am and just like get so many snacks. It's so fun because by 2am you're like hungry and you're like, oh my god, like we're just gonna like eat so many snacks. And it just feels like such an adventure. Like when you have to go grocery shopping on like a Sunday afternoon and you're like, ugh, like I have to like buy food to like feed myself. Ugh. But when it's just like, oh my god, we're gonna go get like popcorn at 2 a.m. There's just nothing better than that. Like that's like, the, those are the little moments in life that you like appreciate. Like when you're on your deathbed, you're gonna be like, oh, remember that time like me and my best friend? Remember that time me and my best friend like went grocery shopping at 2 a.m.? Conan just gets me. Song. There was one time my friend, I literally drove from her house like all the way home. We spent like the whole day together and I was like, hey, bye. Like, and she was like, oh my God, like she's gonna like see her boyfriend that night. So I like went home and then literally I walk in the door and I get a call from her and she's like, he broke up with me. And I was like, I'm gonna come right back. Cause he so I drove all the way back. And then we stayed up till like 4 a.m. <laughs> it was actually so fun. Um, in like hindsight, it was fun. It wasn't fun at the time because she was sad, but she's fine now. Oh my God, that was so cute. It wasn't like, again, my personal favorite. It's just not like my genre, if you will. But I like appreciate it for what it was. I think it was an adorable song. <laughs> it was just so cute. I feel like I've never really heard a song like that before where it's just like so appreciative and cheeky and funny. And it just like accurately represents like what you and your best friend are like because it's cheeky and funny and that's what your relationship should be that it should be like you're just like staying up till 4 a.m like belly laughing and i feel like that song just really captured that really well okay the next one is astronomy and i'm so excited for it because it's track five and if you're a swifty you know you know i wonder if conan is gonna make track five like a really sad one i don't know i'm excited i've also like i feel like astronomy is one of his more popular ones right because it'll come up on my like suggested a lot but i like haven't listened to it because i've been waiting for this reaction it's finally here so i'm excited to like get into this one because i feel like this one's been hyped up a lot for me so let's see Oh, I'm gonna like this one. We drive through the woods, rich neighborhoods to watch with runaway fathers and mothers who drink. And now I know. From far away, I wish I'd stayed with you, but here, face to face, a stranger that I once knew. You no, know, like, why is that so heartbreaking? <laughs> it's so true. Like, when there's distance, you can really romanticize your life with that person and you're kind of like making up this perfect person in your head but then when you finally get together you feel like strangers and you're like what's changed like it's different it's not how it was and it's like you both run apart and like the person that you like that each other is thinking about is like not who you are anymore it's a different version of that person that you've romanticized in your head oh that hits also like this is my favorite so far like i know i'm only halfway through the song but like this is truly so beautiful the only mistake Oh my god. Oh. oh my 
my god. That was so track five material. I can't even with this song. Easily my favorite song of the album so far. That was so stunning. Even just like the imagery of like we've traveled the seas, we've ridden the stars. Like, oh, it's so beautiful to think about. The lyrics are simply so so beautiful and tragic all at the same time. This layer is insane. The only mistake that we didn't make was run. Now look what we've done. Like the only mistake we made was that we should have ended this sooner because we could have ended it on like a really beautiful, like good note where like we can look back with nostalgia like we can look back at the relationship fondly but because we chose to like get back into this when it was over now we just have these sour memories that and it's like tainted oh my god you can't force the stars to align when they've already died beautiful like so beautiful i am immediately giving that one a heart i'm gonna listen to that song on repeat i just know myself i just want to like listen to it right now but we have to continue on with the album okay track six is yours Somebody you use, but never stop 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 oh my god did i not just say that track five was like easily my favorite so far okay we are like literally 20 seconds in and via these lyrics i'm like going to predict that this one's gonna be my favorite i'm sorry excuse you i'm somebody you use but never own i'm somebody you touch but never hold illegal illegal says i'm not yours like so many times but you're still mine but i'm not yours and i can't change your mind but you're still mine. no matter how long you will go in your life just not loving me like i will always love you that is so heartbreaking and such a stunningly sad beautiful way to express that i love a plot twist like the way that he twisted it to make it this unexpected like that's such a great songwriting tactic is to like go through the chorus and then boom you surprise your listener with that final lyric of the chorus this is my favorite off the album and i'm only like halfway through and i know it's gonna be my favorite like that was so stunning okay we have to continue <laughs> If I cry, it will ruin my makeup. Okay, so let's just start by giving this a heart. These lyrics mixed with the melody, like this is a perfect song. I just know that this is going to be one of my favorite songs of all time, like forever. So tell me that it's time for me to go because you know I can't do it on my own. You're like, I cannot get over you by myself. Like I need you to be like, I don't want you because that smidge of hope, like I will stay forever unless you just completely like eradicate that smidge of hope that I have left. The only thing that's harder than sleeping alone is sleeping with your ghost. It's so self-explanatory how insanely beautiful and brilliant this song is. Like, I, I don't even know what to say. Like, I don't even know. There's nothing to add. Like, it's just brilliant. And I'm sorry, but that switch up right into the bridge where you thought it was going to end, like, the first chorus. And then it went right into, like, the most beautiful bridge I've ever heard. I don't understand why this song did not get the driver's license treatment. Like, this song should have been, like, number one everywhere. It should have, like, won a Grammy. Like, I'm sorry. This is so stunning. That bridge and then the ending lyric. What the f did i do in the end just to not be yours all this time like everything i went through just to not even be yours in the end none of it was worth it <sighs> yeah that was spectacular i don't even know how he could possibly top this song hi look it's darker and i changed my clothes to show that time has passed basically my friend texted me and was like hi do you want to come over and i was like yeah and then we had a girl's night 
I'm back. It's a few hours later. And honestly, I needed a bit of a break after track six because it was so emotional. Y'all, I'm loving this album so far. So let's get into track seven, Jigsaw. Ooh. It's giving like a sexy vibe. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know what he put in the middle of this album, but I'm addicted because this is so good. Dude, the lyrics in this are also insane. Like this part, I've changed every part of me until the puzzle pieces aren't me at all. I look in the mirror and now I'm just a jigsaw. It kind of asks the philosophical question of like, if you have a boat and you one at a time remove and replace every piece of the boat, is it still the same boat or is it now a different boat? Every piece of myself, one by one, I replace replaced them with something else to make you happy to the point where I've slowly realized that I'm not even myself anymore. Oh my god, also that like wild part where it was like jigsaw, 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 jigsaw. That gave me literal chills. I was terrified, it scared me a little, but it gave me chills also. This part too, if I made you like me, would I even like myself? I'm obsessed with this. Like I literally love this song so much already. Oh yes. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Dude, the structure of that song was so unpredictable. Like, I knew what the chorus was, but it was to the point where I was like, was there even a second verse? Or we just go right into, like, a bridge or, like, some sort of interlude section? I don't know. That was so insane. I love that one. I'm giving that one a heart easily. Okay, track eight is called family line. I don't know why, but I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared that there's going to be some sort of emotional turmoil in this song. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. Let's see if we can keep up this middle of the album streak. Okay, family line. My father never talked a lot and then he hit. Oh my god. I truly am my parents' child. Scattered across my family line. I'm so good at telling lies. Told a million to survive. Wow, this one has a depth to it that is just like almost kind of surpasses anything else in the album. This is a very heartbreaking song, but it's also a very intelligently written song. I love the way that he's putting this into words. Ooh, when he's like telling us that he told a million lies to survive. Oh my God. Even just like the parallel when he says, I'm so good at telling lies that came from my mother's side. And then he says, God, I have my father's eyes. So he's like mentioning both. It's just really smart, impactful writing. It's hard to put it into words. How the holidays will always hurt mm. Cause now I'm scared that everyone I love will leave Scattered across my family line I can run but I can't hide from my That was a masterclass in songwriting. Also like Conan Gray is a bridge builder. <laughs> like my favorite artists are so good at bridges and he is like the king of bridges. Like seriously, every single one of them is so impactful. I also feel like this song is a song that so many people can relate to unfortunately and I feel like it's a very comforting song almost for a lot of people just because sometimes it can be comforting to know that like you're not alone and that someone else is going through this too. But wow, that was incredible. I'm giving that one a heart. This is four songs in a row that I've hearted. That might be like honestly a record break in my album reactions. I don't know if I've ever given like four songs in a row, just hearts. I don't know if I've ever done that. Okay, let's move on to track nine, Summer Child. I love this album. You see all the flowers and the weeds. You cover up your own 
hands with your sleeves even in hundred degrees oh my god no and you laugh and you dance and oh summer child wow you don't have to act like all you feel is mine aren't you way too busy taking care of everybody taking oh. care of yourself Chord progression. I'll watch you eat your lion summer child. Oh my god. The chord progression in I think it was the bridge was insane. That was exactly what I was hoping that he would do. Especially because like when you have very simple production like this, I feel like if you're gonna do that, you need to have like a really beautiful, complex song and, and structure and he did exactly what i wanted him to do and more this song feels like matilda like by harry styles like it gives me the same feeling that matilda gives me and i think they are kind of about something similar it's about someone who's like trying to act like they're okay when they're not and these artists are essentially saying like it's okay not to be okay like this part aren't you way too busy taking care of everybody to take care of yourself like oh and just oh my god the one where it says like you cover up your arms with your sleeves even in 100 degree heat he's just such a poet and the callbacks and the color green oh my god like this is insanity because i'm literally going to give that one a heart that's five in a row i know for sure i haven't ever in the history of my channel given five in a row hearts okay let's move on to track 10 footnotes you said at the party that I was too drunk It's so clear I'm in love with you So I'll stop being pretentious and loathing our friendship No pride and prejudice at all Oh my gosh. One of my favorite books and my comfort film. Why do I feel like I want to be best friends with Conan Gray? <laughs> Once again, I write every line for you, but a footnote will do. Ah, oh, he just has such a good way of describing these universal feelings in a way that no one has described it before. Like, I'm sorry, but like, what? How is he this good at songwriting? Wow, something I've noticed about this album is there are a lot of songs about unrequited love. Those kinds of songs speak to me the most because there's something about a what if and like what could have been and then like what will never be. For some reason, those songs just like get me more than any other song. Like I just feel most emotionally connected to those songs. Damn, that's sad. One of my favorite songs that I've written, it's called Then I Do, and it's like, oh, it's on my EP Shades of Gold. I'll link it down below. But it's about that. I'm giving you my time while you spend your night with someone else. I'm texting you goodbye right before you drive three hours to a house. I'm laying here tonight as I fantasize while she gets me Conan are one. Oh my god, we both write those kinds of songs the most, so I feel most connected to those kinds of songs. Again, I'm giving that a heart. No, like, this is insane. You guys, I've never loved so many consecutive songs in an album on this channel before. I'm actually, like, this is insane. I really wish I had my channel when this first came out, because wow, like, I've been missing out. Okay, let's move on to track 11, Memories. It's late, I hear the door. Ooh. And it's
that breath, that breath the end. Um, I need to give a standing ovation before the album concludes because excuse me what when the song started i was like oh, okay maybe this is gonna be the song that like breaks the chain of likes no no then we picked up and it was magnificent i was just taken on a roller coaster like that was a journey there were multiple plot twists that was a novel <laughs> like that was a 1200 page high fantasy novel with maps and shit i'm sorry but the absolute plot twist that occurred when he was like since you came i guess i'll let you stay and i was like oh my god like i was just hit with a semi truck and then he hits us with a second semi truck because then he adds on for as long as it takes to grab your books and your coat and that one good cologne that you bought when we were he tricked us, you guys. He literally tricked us. First, he was like, you can't stay. And then he was like, oh my god, you can stay. And then he was like, only for as long as it takes you to clear out your stuff. Like, you know that meme where it's like American Idol or like, or, 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 or Gordon Ramsay? And they're like, this was awful. We good. If you were a raccoon trying to eat garbage. Like, I did not see any of that coming. Well, I'm giving memories a heart too. Let's listen to the final track, The Exit. Wait, I love how the last track is called The Exit because like exit is like the ending, like you're exiting like bye, like we're gonna exit the album. Oh my God. It's crazy how fast you take me I relate to that song so deeply, <laughs> unfortunately. Just like, we didn't even end before you started something else. An occurrence that's like, <laughs> happened to me like way too many times. <laughs> so, that's like really upsetting. But like, again, these lyrics, like, there are just so many good ones. I lose count of like how many amazing, incredible lyrics that there are in each song. Conan just keeps hitting and hitting and hitting. Oh, I mean, feels like we had matching wounds, but mine still black and bruised and yours is perfectly fine now. Feels like we buried alive something that never died. Like, oh my God. You already found someone to miss while I was still standing at the exit. Cause it makes you feel like, oh, like it wasn't just that like the relationship ran its course or like we just weren't personally right for each other. It's like, no, someone was just better than me. <laughs> like it hurts so bad. Yeah, I love that one as well. Like I'm literally gonna give that one a heart too. <sighs> I think I just found one of my very new favorite artists. Like, I know that I'm just gonna be like listening to this album on repeat. I'm obsessed with Conan Gray. I'm fully obsessed. Y'all were right. Y'all knew that I would be obsessed. Oh my gosh. Let's go over which songs I liked. So I liked track one, movies. Then I liked track five, astronomy. And every single track after. <laughs> This is history. We have just made history on this channel. Jesse just liked a lot of songs. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. Again, it would mean the whole wide world if you could pre-save or pre-order Test the Water. Definitely go watch the Gravity Music video and listen to my music. Also, make sure to follow me on Instagram to keep updated. Subscribe, ring the bell. Give this video a like if you liked it. Give this video a like if you hated it. And I will see you next time. Thank you. So that was, whoa. That was like, I didn't even scream. That was like a scream that wanted to like rip out of me. But that was just deep within my soul. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love you all. Bye. Now, where can I see him live?